children let's study about chapter 5 at understanding elementary shape in this chapter first i will tell you how to measure a length so it has three methods so first method is observation observation now through observation we can find out which line is measured which line is longer now these two lines are given two line segment are given this is line segment ab and this is line segment pq so by observation we can say this line segment pq is longer than the line segment ab this line segment is longer we can say it by observation but if we have these two line segment this line segment and this line segment now it is very difficult to find out which line segment is longer so what we have to do we use second method that is by ruler we use the ruler to measure these two line segment so how i, I will find out first line segment is 20 cm long 20 cm and second line segment is 22 cm long 22 cm long now we can say this line segment is longer than this line segment but in this also we face difficulties in this method also we face problems so problem is positioning error positioning error positioning error we can do positioning error now if we are measuring this object by this ruler so our eyes should correctly vertical it has, has to be vertical vertical above the mark where error can happen angular viewing this is angular viewing viewing and this is also angular viewing and error can happen angular viewing we have to we have to just vertical above the mark this our eye should be correctly positioned our eye should be correctly positioned just above just vertically above the mark like this then we will not do any mistake so third method is children with the help of a divider with the help of divider children with the help of divider divider if we have this line segment line segment AB AB this line segment AB how we measure with the help of a divider this is divider children we open it then it gets widened and when we close it it gets narrow so it has two pointed end points and these are the the arms of the divider this arm and this arm these are the arms of the divider now what we will do it's one point one end of this divider you place at point A and the second end you place at point B. Now see these two, two points are there, two end points are there. One end point you place it at point A and the other end point place it at point B. Now you should not disturb it. Now what you have to do, you place it on the ruler. 
this end point you place it on the mark G zero and the other other point other mark we will read it is it is eleven point eleven point two it is eleven point two we can read the mark against the other point now first point you put on the zero you place it on the zero and the second point you read it against the mark see so it is 11.2 so these are the three methods to measure the length